Hi everybody, I'm Phil. I was encouraged by Mind Your Horror, or Kurt, to kind of start doing videos, so here I am. Uh, like him, I'll be doing movie reviews, and I like to call it Philoween, because of my name. So welcome to Philoween. Tonight's episode, dun dun dun, Terror Train. Those of you who are familiar with the film know that it features David Copperfield. Uh, I live in Las Vegas, so I'm familiar with David Copperfield. In fact, he's had a long run at uh, MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. I've never met the man personally, uh, but I've been on his stage. Anyway, this release is from uh, Scream Factory. They have a whole series of these with unique cover art and uh, also uh, DVD and Blu-ray. It's a great addition, and I'll get into some plot points with you. Many of you may be familiar with the film. It's probably one of the least heralded uh, slasher films of the era during the horror film renaissance of the late 70s and early 80s. It, of course, features Jamie Lee Curtis, and it, in itself, I feel is a great film. I have memories of it from when I was a child during the dawn of the home video revolution. This was a movie that my father played at home and I have a distinct memory of being on the family sofa watching this film and just being terrified. Uh, especially during a pivotal scene where a character gets, spoiler alert, decapitated. I watched that scene today and I'm not bothered by it. So it just goes to show you that some of your childhood memories are more vivid in your mind than they are in reality. I won't go into too much detail about this film, but uh, it is really kind of grainy and fun. It really evokes the era. Uh, it was uh, in theaters in 1980. It was directed by Roger Spottiswood, who I understand this was his first film, and he doesn't like to talk about it. He apparently doesn't like to lay claim to the film, which many fans don't understand because this movie does kind of have a cult following, and they appreciate the film, and he completely disregards it. Um, if you're not aware of the plot point already, it uh, or plot itself, it takes place aboard a train, uh, a majority of the film, and a bunch of med students are celebrating New Year's Eve. The curious thing about it is, is that it's kind of an homage to Halloween because although it is New Year's Eve, it's a costume party aboard the train, so there's a lot of people in masks, which is very convenient. Um, they were trying to, in a sense, kind of copy the... Halloween atmosphere, if you will, with this film. Successfully, I might add. Uh, there's some great moments. It's not very gory, and it's not actually, by today's standards, very scary. It's well acted, though. You'll see in it Hart Bachner, whom I know from Supergirl the movie. I know she's getting a television series this fall, but Hart Bachner is in this. He plays not only a a love interest of sorts in this film, but he played a love interest in Supergirl. In Supergirl. You're welcome. I'm trying to fix my bedhead, so I apologize. Anyway, uh, I won't give too much away. The unique thing about this film is that after the, after the killer uh, gets rid of his uh, victims in this film, he dons the costume that they're wearing and the mask, which is kind of a creative, innovative thing that they did with this film. Um, all shot aboard a train. I don't think the train was in motion during the shooting. They actually had the train um, in a warehouse in Canada and on a, uh, a riser so that they could tilt the uh, cabin so that it looked as if the actors were on a train, um, which they were on an actual train, but uh, they just mounted the, th the cabins on risers so that you could uh, simulate train movement. There's a, a unique uh, band aboard the train by the name of Crime. I don't think they're actually prominent anymore, but there's a great disco score to this, much like the score you see in Prom Night, which came out around the same time. So I would encourage, check it out. It'll leave you guessing as to who the killer is because 
uh, it's kind of a surprise at the end, and uh, it plays with your mind a little bit. You never see where it's coming from, uh, and it's pretty progressive uh, for its time uh, as to uh, the reveal of the killer. Uh, and that's about it. So check it out. Chicka, 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 chicka. Terror Train.